Alright. Let's settle in and continue. Oh, it's been a few days since I last played this. Okay. I have to put socks on because my feet were getting cold. <laughs> so opening chapter's done. It's going to be about the side quests today. Okay. Do I have any already? That's the question. Right, so there's two people looking after or wanting to know about stuff. So one's at the club, so we need to dig up information for them, and the other one is Gourmet. Kunrai. Oh. Uh, hang on. <sighs> I keep pressing the wrong button. Kunrai. There it is. Where is it? Okay, north. Uh, probably easier just to take a cab. Yeah, let's start with that. Saves me trouble. Don't get into fights. It's all good. I think I know which place it is. It's the one um, in the previous game. The Dine and Dasher? Or am I wrong? Hang on. Yeah, this place. Welcome, let me show you to your seats. Right this way. What would you like to order? Well... Let's see what they have. Ooh... See, I would probably get this. Yeah, bibimbap. I mean, the rest, I guess, is like, uh... Barbecue. You know what? Yeah, rib meat. Let's have some ribs in that. Oh, you can only have one? No, 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 no. Hang on, no. I can't... Oh, okay, that's why. You can only have one. Fine. Here's your bill, sir. Does that fulfill it, though? Uh, sub-stories... Maybe I have to eat everything. I wouldn't be surprised. I think the best way is maybe to get into a fight. And then just come back right away. Hey, uh, could you move out of my way? Oh, speaking. Doesn't look like he speaks Japanese or wants to let me through. Okay. Then let us just go somewhere. Wait, what does the up arrow mean? Oh, you can go upstairs. Yeah, this is new. What the fuck? I mean, this is nice. It looks like it's a walkway to get to the other side of town, and you don't... Oh, no, hang on, who's this? 
Screw you, I hope you get fired, you good-for-nothing manager. Oh crap, did you hear all that? See, I used to be a hostess, right? Then I quit when I graduated college and started working at this dream company. But my manager is totally worthless. I wish I could just suck him in the face and quit all dramatic-like. But I really wanted this job. Ugh. So whenever I feel like quitting, I come to Kamurocho and shout my anger from the rooftops. Strangely enough, all the experience I gained here as a hostess is actually really helpful in my current job. Maybe you'll get something out of your experience in Kamurocho too. Yeah. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Tuto really? Tutorial roof? I feel so much better after venting to you. Maybe I should go grab a co-worker to rat to instead of forcing Kamurocho to hear it all the time. I mean, 500 points. This is so weird. I wonder if this serves a purpose. I mean, it's nice because there's no fights up here. This might be the purpose, is like, it, it lets me get around town without getting into fights, so that, that's a positive. Okay, let's grab the side quest. Ah, the admirable Naomi-san. Maybe I'll have fort my fortune told. But she's always got this weird green Afro guy at her side. And there's rumors that she doesn't really tell your fortune, and her prices are super high. Naomi's place provides the following services. Receive item packs, receive completion awards. You can also speak with Naomi to hear rumors about happenings around town. Can I really get my fortune right around here? Maybe I'll stop by next time I'm worried about my future. Oh. That wasn't even the quest. This is it. Shibara? Oh, Hakiyama-san. Oh, this guy. <laughs> what are you doing on this side of town? Actually, I was just on my way to see you. Me? Uh-huh. Oh, all right, Let, let's head upstairs then. So, uh, what can I do for you? Okay, uh, yama san please make me your apprentice. My apprentice? Yes, please. Well, this is sudden. Weren't you starting some kind of online company? Uh, that's what I figured at first, but I really sat down to think about it. I couldn't come up with anything I wanted to do. So, why become my apprentice? I bet if I studied under you, I could discover my true calling. That's crazy talk. Figure that out yourself. Please. I have no intention of taking on an apprentice. I'm not asking to be paid, of course. I, I just want to stay here until I work out what I want to do. Absolutely not. I don't want to waste the five million yen you lent me, please. Uh, please! What's holding you back, Chief? He already said he's not out for money. I don't know. Well, I'm all for it. <laughs> oh, thank you, Hana-san. <sighs> Fine. Really? We'll start by, uh, having you pick us up some lunch. Uh, I can do that. I'll be right back. You just want him to be your errand boy, don't you? Was it obvious? <sighs> I could've need another bite. By the way, Akiyama-san, why did you start, uh, Sky Finance anyway? Why? 
Well, frankly, you're not making any money here. I, I was just wondering what gave you the idea. What gave me the idea, huh? You really want to know? I do. It might give me a push. I used to be homeless. Did you really? Yeah. I'd worked at a bank, but what? With one thing after another, I quit. I ran out of money pretty fast. When was this? Uh, about five years ago, maybe. After I left the bank, I lived on the streets for a while. Then one day, money literally fluttering down from the sky. Really? Money? You didn't hear about that? There was an explosion at the Millennium Tower that blasted billions of yen out onto the street. Oh yeah, I saw that on the news. I ran around like an idiot, but eventually gathered up about a million yen or so. And that's how you started your business? With that chump change? Nah, you can't even rent an office for that little. Then what did you do? I'd been in the banking business, so I knew a little bit about finance. I thought, what's the best way to make money? So I went into day trading. What's that? That's basically trading stocks within the course of a single day. You complete a bunch of trades on a day-by-day -day basis, and if it all goes well, you can earn a substantial profit on your sales. It's not all that different from gambling, I suppose, but with a little expertise you can make more than you would on the horses. And did you? Did you really make that million grow? Well, it was do or die. I scraped up whatever info I could and bought and sold both day and night. Uh, not everything was strictly legal. One bad trade and I would have been done for. But I guess somebody up there was looking out for me. Before long, I'd made a pretty nice chunk of change. Then I tried future trading and... F sorry. Then I tried futures trading and the like. Maybe I had a natural talent for it. Uh, in any case, the money just kept... <laughs> the money just kept on multiplying. I'm tired, leave me alone. I'd made a businessman's salary thousands of times over in only a few short years. Soon after, I found myself wondering what should I do with it all, which made me lukewarm on the idea of making more. So did you lose interest in money itself? No, I just went from thinking only about how to make money to thinking about ways to use the money I'd made. And you became an interest-free money lender to help people with their money problems? No. It was more than just wanting to help people out who are strapped for cash. I wanted to see people who had lost their money and hit rock bottom work hard to pull themselves back up again, just like I had. And that's how Sky Finance came to be? Excuse me, I heard I can get a loan here. That's enough war stories for today. Okay. Uh, let's see what let's see what you have to say right this way. Now, what can I do you for? Hi. Well, my husband's obsessed with gambling, and he's gotten us into a ton of debt. Then he drinks and just becomes so incredibly violent. I got us out here. I got us out of there as soon as I could. I couldn't take it anymore. That's terrible. He borrowed all kinds of money under my name too, and now the loan officers refuse to give me the time of day. I heard a rumor that you might be able to help, so here we are. How much did you need? We, l we left with nothing but the clothes on our backs. Would it be possible to throw about 500,000 for living expenses? All right, but you'll have to pass a test before I give you the money. Hi. Yes, I've, I've heard about that too. What would you have me do? You have three hours to find work somewhere here in Kamurocho. Do that, and the 500,000 is yours. Interest free. Only three hours? Uh, you'll find something if you look hard enough. They say we're in a recession, but there's still plenty of work available if you're not too picky. What do you think? Want to give it a try? 
Uh, okay, I'll see what I can find. Was it really necessary to give her a test after all she's been through? Uh, she's serious about the loan. She'll pass it just fine. Where's Noroko? And you are? My wife came in here for a loan. Oh, so you're her husband, are you? Aha! Uh -huh. So she was here. Uh-huh. Where is she? Drag her ass out here right now. Uh, I'm sorry, but your wife is now my customer. And I'm not at liberty to divulge information about my customers. Why you? If you have any complaints, I'd be more than happy to take this outside. That suits me just fine. Alright. Let's hear what you have to say. I ain't got nothing to say. Just get Noriko out here right now. You looking to get your ass beat? Now, see here, pal. Oh, shut the fuck up, will ya? Looks like I'm just gonna have to beat your ass. Alright, if he insists. I love how a crowd turns up <laughs> in the alley. I mean, this dude's no Kiryu, but I do enjoy his kicking moves. They are much more swift. He seems to be more nimble. Doesn't quite have the heavy hit, but eh, it's enjoyable. Ah, uh, damn it, you'll pay for this. Wow, I'd run too if I were married to him. Ah, oh, naturally. What kind of sandwich did you make, Gammy? Any luck? No, nothing. Then I can't lend you the money. I'm afraid I'll have to ask you to leave. I stopped into every place looking for a part-time help. They all said I was too old. I tried lots of stores and restaurants, but they told me they had enough help. And? Three hours to find work in Kamurocho? It's just not possible. Did you check the red light district? What? You know, massage parlors, places like that. Somebody as good looking as you should be able to find a willing employer, no problem. I could never work in the sex industry. And that's entirely up to you, but you won't get alone until you pass a test. But I... I really must ask you to leave. Mom, what's a sex industry? <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, uh, dear. Akiana-san, hasn't she been through enough already? Yeah, like I said, I don't just give people money because I feel sorry for them. Still, if she truly wanted a new life for herself, she'd have gone straight into a massage parlor and asked for that job. I won't lend money to anyone who's less than serious. You were serious about changing your life, right? And I lent you your money. I helped you because you were sincere. You said you didn't want to waste my 5 million yen. Are you really looking for a worthwhile way to spend it? Because I can tell you right now, you won't find anything by hanging around me. You're right. You lent me the money, so I felt dependent on you. I'll give some more serious thought to what exactly I want to do. Are you sure about this, Chief? You could have let Shibara-san work here, you know. No, it's better this way. He's a big boy. I'm sure he can figure out his hopes and dreams all by himself. A chicken sandwich, fuck yeah. <laughs> Best choice of meat. Oops. <laughs> Accident. 
Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about this dude yet, like... We'll see how his character arc plays out. Because, I mean, here's the thing, Majima was sensible in Yakuza 0 and then just took a steep... <laughs> just a very sharp turn into, oh, okay, this dude is like the Joker of this game. I don't want to learn from you anyway. You're not the only office in Kamurocho, you know. That's not the point. You've been blacklisted. There's not a loan shark in town who'd lend to you now. You don't know that for sure. I, I, I'm never doing business with you ever again. Okay. Uh, pardon me, miss. Did I hear you're having money trouble? And who are you? Not another debt collector, I hope. No, not at all. But I am in the line of business as that other fellow. A money lender? Lend lender? Lender. Jesus. What's wrong with me? Then I'd like to apply for a loan. Oh, but why bother? It's no use. If I'm going to add extra syllables, I, I may as well just go. Ah, it sounds like they've got you blacklisted. Is that right? How much do you owe? I'd say about 10 million or so. About? So you don't even know how much you've borrowed? Uh, loan shark, credit cards, you name it. I've borrowed money from it. What are you getting at? Oh, it's just that you put on a brave face for somebody so deep in debt. Nice clothes and all that. Made me wonder. What's the point in looking all pitiful just because I happen to earn people some money? This is how I live after all. I see. You're something else. You know that? You've certainly caught my attention. Are you hitting on me? No, it's not that. Look, if you're truly ready to make a fresh start, come to my office, Sky Finance, on Tenkaichi Street. Sky Finance? I've heard rumors. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, honestly, I was doing that to see if I could keep doing it without laughing. And I, I think I kept composure. I'll stop now. Yeah, my name's uh, Shun Akiyama, and you are? Me, I'm Shoko Muto. Well then, uh, Shoko-san, I hope you'll decide to pay me a visit. Goodbye. Shoko Muto. I have a feeling I'll see her sooner or later. In fact, she might already be on her way. Maybe I ought to head over to the office and see. It's It's been a long day. <laughs> I, I found it amusing. Wait, I think I missed the office entry. Excuse me. Sato. Oh, hello, Chief. Didn't expect you back so soon. Well, you know, can't stroll around town forever. Do you have any work for me? Mm. Uh, I took care of all the paperwork, so, uh... Oh, I know. Could you please clean up your desk area? There's just so much junk everywhere. But I thought you were in charge of cleaning up around here. Whoa. The last time I tried tidying up your desk, you kept pestering me for this document, that magazine. All you did was complain. I don't know what you'll end up needing, and if I move anything at all, I'll guarantee I'll hear about it. Thus, I've sworn off cleaning up your desk. Ah, oh, bummer. Excuse me, is this Sky Finance? Is there an Akiyama-san here? Oh, hello, and welcome. Chief, you have a customer. Ah, Shoko-san, good to see you. Why don't you tell me more about your situation? Please, have a seat. This office is certainly dirty. Can you really conduct business in here? 
Uh, you should have seen it before we tied it up. Apologies for the mess. So, how much do you owe at the moment? Did you check the exact amount? I owe five credit card companies and four loan sharks. 10.3 million yen in all. Although, that's not including interest. I see. Well, it sounds like you have a pretty good idea of where you stand. Still, it must be hard paying it off when it's spread all over like that. Uh, why did you borrow so much exactly? I wanted to invest in myself, wear nice clothes, carry the latest accessories, and date good men. I can't have anybody taking me lightly. I may have borrowed some money, but it's only because I'll be earning millions one day. Doing what? Huh. Well, that's some sound logic, but it seems to me you might have rushed things a little. Maybe so. Simply improving my appearance hasn't helped much. It's just not that easy. As long as you understand that, you should be fine. You can always start over. First, I recommend consolidating all your loans and coming up with a repayment plan. What do you think? I think that's a good idea. Do you do loan consolidation here? Yeah, of course. With no interest and no collateral. What? No interest? Then what's in it for you? That's nothing for you to worry about. Or would you prefer to pay interest? Oh, I get it. You have some kind of conditions, don't you? Like, I have to sleep with you. Well, that sounds great, but no. You're a little off base. All I ask is that you take a test. A test? Yep, a test. Pass the test, and I'll consolidate your debts, no interest, no collateral. So, what kind of test are we talking about? I have one million yen here. I'm going to give it to you. And then it'll be your job to decide how to spend it. Huh? I just have to spend one million yen? Pretty much. So what do you say? Uh, Alright, I'll accept. Then, it's a deal. Use every last yen of this one million. What the fuck? I'll be back when it's gone. See you then. Sato. Chief, are you sure about this? That's a million yen you just gave her. I gave it to her, yes, but then again, I didn't just give it to her. Whoa. And yet you were reluctant to give me a bonus. Oh, uh, look. This is a test to see how Shoko-san spends her money. It's hard to spend borrowed money, but when it's a gift, the sky's the limit. One's spending habits can give you a pretty good idea of one's character. You think so? Hanachan, if somebody gave you money, you'd make a beeline for a dessert buffet. That tells us you're a foodie, right? Well, yeah, I guess, but... I really admire Shoko-san wanting to move up in the world. Now I just want to know if she can see past today. Hmm, well, with all that yen, I suppose she should pay down her debt. That's one way to use it. It's much better than spending it on a bunch of junk. Say, Hana-chan, where do you think she'll go? For designer goods? La March? For food? Sushi-jin? And for fun, the host club Adam. Those would be my guesses. Could you give those places a call and tell them to try to get her to spend money? Okay, but you know something, Chief? You really are a bad man. Hey, it is a test. I have to make it challenging, don't I? Thanks, Hana-chan. I'll go see how she's doing. La March and Sushi Jun. Oh, and uh, that host club, Adam. Where's Adam again? Near the center of the hotel district. Ah, that, that's right. Okay, I'm off. <laughs> this dude's weird. I, I, I don't get his deal. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be made apparent, but he's just... This whole test thing he's got people doing. What I want to know is how our world's going to collide with everyone else. Okay, Sushi Jin. I think I know where it is. It's like here. I'm 
pretty sure it's this restaurant over here. Ah, that was delicious. Sushi gin really is the best in town. I guess so. Uh, I guess Shoko-san had some sushi. Okay. She may have just failed the test. Let's see what the chef has to say. Hi, welcome. Ah, if it isn't Akiyama-san. Hi there. Uh, I think you got a call from Hana-chan, right? How did Shoko-san do? I have some great tuna today, so I recommended the Otoro. But wouldn't you know it, she ate... All she ate was the daily special before going on her way. How much is the special? 980 yen. Wow, cheap. Can I have one? All sold out, I'm afraid. But, you know, she was a little off today. She usually only eats uni, awabi, you know, the pricey stuff. What's going on? Hmm. So I guess she hasn't touched that million yen, then. Wait, what? Hanachan told me to make her spend money. Hey, is this another one of your tests? Ah, something like that. Thanks for your help. I'll have to drop by again soon. Doesn't look like she's spent her million. Okay, where's she headed to now? Um, La March was the other place. Which is... That stupid store where I had to buy all those French handbags <laughs> only for them to get stolen. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Buy the handbags. Don't worry, it won't get stolen. So this is where she went. Now, let's see what she does. She went inside. Better keep a low profile. Ah, Mutu-sama, the platinum ring you inquired about the other day is finally in. Platinum, hmm, I do have the money for it. It's a very popular piece. I've already had a number of customers asking after it, but I put it aside especially for you. I believe it's your size. Would you care to purchase it today, Mutu-sama? No, that's all right. I'll come back when I can pay for it myself. I see. I'm terribly sorry, but I can't guarantee it'll be here on your next visit. You see, I'm instilling this thing called FOMO, which is fear of missing out, where I say something to make you think that you might not be able to get this next time, and therefore I swindle you as I have 50 of these out the back. But you don't know that. Oh, no, no, no. You don't know that at all, sweet dear child. Yeah, that's fine, thank you. <laughs> uh, crap, here she comes. Uh, it doesn't look like she bought anything. Now then. Where's she off to next? Yeah, using sales technique, it's it's pretty common. Especially when employees are on commission base, they will they will say anything to get a sale. Uh the hotel district. I'm not sure where this one is. That's the Champion District. Let me continue up. Wait. Probably here somewhere. I'm not sure where this, this one is.
That's why I, I wouldn't be able to do sales jobs. I just, I hate. I hate being like that. <laughs> just to make sure I earn enough money. Like, uh-uh, I'm good. Where is this place? No, leave me alone. You did door knocking sales and quit after a few days, hated it. Oh shit, yeah, that must have been horrible. That's probably just as bad as uh, outbound telemarketing. I imagine abuse slash people not answering the door. Fuck is this place? Okay, uh map. One and fifty would be abusive, yeah, that's enough. Adam in the hotel district. What the fuck? I mean, that's the thing. That's a- that's... If you consider how much you do in a day, odds are you're gonna come across one person like that in a day. And that's enough to, like, just drain you after a while. Yeah, this is the champion district, so where the where's the hotel district? Let me look at the map. That's champion district. Park alley, park hotel. Okay, that's up there. Alright. Kind of figured. Oh, I think I know where it is. I think I know where it is. You could only try and sell something you actually thought was worth it now. You couldn't try swindling people. Yeah, same. Same, same. I have the firm belief where, like, if you have to stretch the truth about a product just to sell it, the thing's probably not good. It's like, a good product shouldn't need... To stretch the truth. <laughs> yeah, milk crate combo. Wait, oh, you're still alive. <laughs> Sorry to waste your time like that. They should make up for it. That's a, that's exact that's exactly right. Oh for fuck are you are you kidding me? <laughs> I I just finished fighting someone and really less than five seconds and another one. Did you not see what just happened? Is the pile of bodies next to you not indicative of how this is going to go for you? I'm just gonna end up with a, a pile of bodies by the end of the, the street. Use 
you try this horrible company called Herbalife, they sell weight loss shakes. They sell protein powder in a small tub for $60 and it's cheap soy protein. You can get the same thing at Woolies for 15 bucks. I think I've heard of that company. <laughs> in the context of, like, someone saying it's really bad. It's not surprising. Yeah, fuck that. Hmm, a host club. This could be bad. Hey, you think it's really true Shoko's come into some cash lately? It's true, all right. I heard you got it from that Akiyama guy at Sky Finance. Psh, that Akiyama. What a pain in the ass. Wish he'd get the hell out of Kamaracho already. Uh, excuse me. How do you know Shoko-san? Hey, aren't you? Yeah, you're that Akiyama guy from Sky Finance. Well, uh, yeah, I am, and I'm gonna have to ask you to leave Shoko-san alone. She's right in the middle of one of my tests and doesn't need any distractions right now. Huh? The hell, you say? You think you can order us around? I'm not ordering, I'm asking. Ah, oh, never mind that. Look, we lent her tons of money. If we don't get it from her while the getting's good, she'll slip away from us again. As if you didn't already profit enough from your ridiculously high interest rates. She probably paid off the principal ages ago. Yeah? So what? She signed the contract? You got a problem with it? Oh, I'm sure she signed the contract. The intentionally confusing contract you most likely forced her to sign. Shut up! And you mind your own damn business. You'll stay out of our way if you know what's good for you. <sighs> I guess there's no use in talking, huh? Hey, you want to fight? You got it. Really? Your timing couldn't have been better. I never did like your dumbass. We need you out of our business, so we're gonna snap a leg bone or two. Come on, get him. It's a multi-level marketing company. Ah, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. What's the term that- I, I, I can't remember the term that they want banned in Australia. Because it doesn't mean anything and it just implies things are healthy. And it's just really tricking people into buying these health products, but then they don't really do anything. I know one of them is detox, because it, it doesn't mean shit. But there's another one as well. Well, I mean, these dudes are actually putting up a fight. <laughs> Don't throw the bat, use it, you idiot. There you go. What the fuck are you? Ah, I, I should have told you. I'm stronger than I look. Damn it. You'll pay for this. I never heard that one before. Do people really still talk like that? Okay, time to see how Shoko-san's doing. <laughs> Akiyama-san, what are you doing here? Oh, uh... Wait a minute. Have you been following me? No, I was just in the neighborhood collecting a debt. What have you been up to? Me? That doesn't really matter, does it? It has nothing to do with you after all. Ah, fair enough. By the way, did you spend that million yen yet? I've decided how I'll use it. Is that so? Well then, I'll await your decision back at Sky Finance. Alright, I'll come by later. Sounds good. I'll see you there. Okay, let's head back. 
Um, is there a cab? Wait, hold up. Yeah, there is. It's just easier this way. It's less fucking around. <laughs> There's... I don't run into constant battles, I just get to my destination. No, oh, come on, what? <laughs> I took the cab to avoid you. Hey, throw him. Well, that, that, that works too. Okay, these dudes are starting to get more health. I suppose it's not a bad thing to keep leveling up. You're not gonna cower in fear? No? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He says he's gonna tell the other guys around here, but I don't believe him. I really wish that's how it worked. Like, you had reputation in this game, and your reputation builds in certain areas when you kick the crap out of people. Hi, Chief. Shoko-san's here. Oh, is she? That was fast. So, how did you spend your million yen? I haven't yet. Huh? But... The sushi restaurant? The host club? You have far too much time on your hands, Akiyama-san. Oh, uh, so you saw me. Yes, well... You're not exactly subtle. Thank goodness you're in finance. You'd make an awful detective. I shouldn't have been so nosy. My apologies. So, what are you gonna do with the money? This million yen will go towards paying off my debts once you've consolidated them. All this time I've been investing in my future self and I've borrowed a lot of money along the way. But I've come to understand that other people's money can't buy my future. My future can only be bought with money I've earned myself and that's why I'll use this million yen you gave me to pay down my debts. I have to admit, I'm surprised, quite frankly. It's better than... it's... it's a better use than I expected. I figured you'd put that million yen toward paying down some of your current loan shark debts. Well, I thought about it, but then I believed you when you said you'd consolidate them for me. If you'd refused to go through with it, then I would have given back every last yen. My pride won't allow me to accept money for no good reason. I happen to have a great deal of self-respect. Well, in that case, I'd say you've passed and with flying colors. You should be proud of yourself. You did better than I expected. I've passed the test, but how? I told myself that if you, of your own free will, chose to pay down your debts, you'd pass. But you showed me an even better solution. Kiyama san Sky Finance will handle all your debts from here, shoko san Thank you. It seems like I was wrong about you. Truthfully, I thought you were just some sarcastic jerk. Really? Well, I liked you right away. Hana-chan! Could you please do a survey of Shoko-san's debts and write up a contract for us? Hi. Yes, right away. Well, we're done for today. We'll be working with Hana-chan on the details. Alright. Thank you in advance. You're welcome. Oh, and, uh, would you care to join me for dinner? 
Chief! I'm sorry, but I couldn't possibly make your darling secretary angry. Who knows what she'd do to my contract? Ah, right. Here, this is for you. It was a gift, but I think it suits you. Today was fun. I'll be seeing you again. Protective amulet. Protective of what? Too bad, huh, Chief? Say, Hanachan, you wouldn't want a grab to bite to eat, would you? Me instead of Shoko-san, you mean? No, that's not. Are you sure? I can easily put away a hundred pieces of Otoro at Sushi Jin, you know? Oh, uh, uh, never mind. I'll just pop out for a little something on my own. Okay. Uh, one second, just checking. Gain money- what, excuse me? Gain money while walking. Equip with Morning Glory Waistband for healing effect while standing still. What the fuck? Protective amulet. Excuse me? <laughs> Earn money while walking? What do you mean? How much am I earning? 502? 50 oh my god. <laughs> I mean... Imagine if this actually worked. In... I don't- nah. I can't do that. That's- that's too much. I have to put these two together, unfortunately. I mean, these were the bonus items I received for having the other Yakuza games. But I'm not- I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. Unless there's dire circumstances, I'm not gonna do it. Like, that's- no. As awesome as it sounds, no. I thought it was going to be a, a minor amount, but it, it is not minor in the slightest. with him. You better not be stalking my girls. Hey, what are you doing? Well, uh, nothing. You were sneaking a look at something. S sneaking a look? No, I, I was just waiting for someone. Who? Ah, uh, there she is. Who, you mean Mickey? Oh, you know her? Sure. I own this place. What? And who might you be, hmm? A stalker, perhaps? No, no, nothing like that. I just wanted to see her. Are you one of her customers? Uh-huh. Why not just go into the club, then? Well, the thing is... What? I've spent more than 5 million yen here over the past two years, and it looks like my money's finally run out. 5 million yen? That's right. I was this close to winning her over, too. Oh, no. Oh, no. Is this going to... <sighs> is this about to start a new cycle of the annoying couple where, like, this guy is just an idiot? An oblivious idiot? <laughs> If 5 million yen wasn't enough, I think it might be time to call it quits. I just know I could do it if I had another million. What's your name? Tanaguchi. I'm Akiyama. In addition to this club, I also run a loan office called Sky Finance. Yeah? Look, the way things are now, you've got a snowball's chance in hell of going out with Mickey. Huh? Even with another million, unless you make some changes, you could see her ten more times and still get absolutely nowhere. 
Oh, great. Besides, you need more than just money to woo a woman. First, you have to work on your look. Then comes building up your own personal brand of charm. But how do I do all that? Meet me in front of the Millennium Tower later. I'll give you a little advice. You do that for me? Sure. I wouldn't be much of an owner if I didn't step in to help such a loyal customer. Thank you very much. Oh, and uh, the next time we meet, come all decked out in your lady killer best. Lady killer? You know, the clothes you'd wear if you had the chance to go on a date with Mickey. I want to get a feel for your sense of style. Oh, uh, yeah, okay, I will. I'll see you later then. And thanks again. Is he gonna be there already? Hold up. Hey, isn't that our scout? What's with that pose? Working hard? Don't be slacking off now. Oh, hey there, boss. Don't hey there, boss me. All these girls walking by, you've got to talk to them. Like that one. Ah, some other club got her. I'm just not cut out for this job. What? Quitting already? It's your choice to make, but you're a little hasty, don't you think? It's just nothing's going right. I call out to some girl and she either glares at me or ignores me altogether. I'm starting to get a complex here. Sounds like you talk to a lot of girls. How many leads did you get today? Leads? Come on, you know. How many phone numbers did you get? How many girls? One. You've got to be kidding. I'll be living on bread crusts and water at this rate. I'm not too happy about myself about it myself, you know. I wish there was an easier way to make money. Well, I think I can understand how you feel. Just how are you calling out to these girls anyway? How? Like normally? Hey, wanna be a hostess? Like that. Hmm. Then what? What if she says she's not interested? I say, Ah, oh, come on, why not? Give it a shot. I don't blame them for giving you the stink eye. Maybe it was fate I saw you here today. I'll give you some basic lessons in scouting. Whether you learn anything is up to you. Huh? You mean, you can scout, boss? What kind of idiot do you take me for? I tried my hand at all kinds of hostess club jobs before I came to own one myself. Wow, you sure don't mess around. Not when it comes to work. Anyway, the trick to getting rich... Oh, that's the trick to getting rich. Fuck. Now, it's time for you to take that first step. Come with me. Aw, do I have to? Yep. Now... Get moving. Seriously? Oh, what a drag. The first rule of scouting. Never let a girl pass you by. You've been standing around all day with only one lead to show for it. Proof positive you've been playing hooky instead of working. Look, you can talk the talk, boss, and I see what you're saying, I do, but can you walk the walk? How good are you, really? You seem confident enough, so I guess you were probably really something at one point. Still, I get the feeling your skills are pretty rusty. You really want to go there? Okay. Give me five minutes to do some scouting on my own, then. You tell me how many leads I should score in that amount of time. Seriously? Well... Gee, I don't know. I'm kind of clueless when it comes to this stuff. I noticed. Ouch, fine. Alright. If that's the way you're gonna be, then I'm not holding back. How about... Three times the leads I put in. That's three people. You need three leads to win. Fine. But why three particularly? 
Because a real master ought to be able to do three times better than a normal person, right? Uh, whatever you say. Okay then. Here I go. Clock starts now. In the next five minutes, talk to as many women as possible and ask for their phone numbers. Do keep in mind you're scaring specifically for hostesses. Okay. Hi there. I'm a scout for a hostess club. Any interest in that line of work? Ah, perfect timing. I work at a club now and I was just wondering if I should try somewhere else. Really? I could help you with that. Um, Akiyama, may I ask your name? I am Satomi. Satomi, huh? What sort of place are you, were you looking for? My current club has some really strict quotas. I'm thinking about finding some place a little more laid back. Not a problem. Our club has no quotas whatsoever. And all of our girls are super motivated. Wow, that sounds pretty neat. Here, take my card. Could I get your cell number? Sure, call me later with the details. Okay, I'll be in touch. There you go. Already doing better than him. She's crying. Hello there, I'm a scout for a hostess club. <laughs> Little old to be a scout, don't you think? <laughs> you got me there. Believe it or not, I'm actually only 32. So, do you already have a position somewhere else? Uh, uh-huh. At a club in Rapongi. No wonder. I knew there was something about you. Ever give any thought to of switching clubs? Well, actually... Uh, hello? Hey, you! What are you doing talking to my girl? Hi, Chikun. We've been waiting forever. Oh, so she's with you. I was just hoping she might want to give our club a try. Are you shitting me, pal? I should chop your finger for that. Okay, now we have to fight this guy quickly. Okay, kick his ass. Is the clock still got- No, the clock stopped. The clock has stopped. We're good. It is fair. Time ceases to exist when you're kicking the crap out of someone. You're good. Sorry about that, mister. Chicken really has a short fuse. Now, what do you say to the nice man, Chicken? Sorry, my bad. Can I make it up to you? I'll hear you out on that hostess thing. Sure thing. I'll get in touch with you later, then. Okay, that's another lead. She's crying. No, there we go. Hi! A scout for a hostess club. I'm a scout for a hostess club. Any chance you'd be interested in that kind of work? Oops. Shouldn't have assumed she speaks Japanese. Sorry to bother you. Goodbye. Okay. There's only one left. We've got two whole minutes. Hello. I'm a scout for a hostess club. I'm sensing a little reluctance. This could be a chance to break into one of today's hottest careers. Ah, back off or I'll call the cops. Yikes, sorry, sorry. So who's left? Oh, oh, there's more here. No. Oh, damn it. Hi there. I'm a host for a hostess club. I'm a scout for a hostess club. Oi. You got some kind of nerve scanning a gun when you with a guy, Pops. <laughs> I guess I do. My apologies. Hold up. I ain't gonna let you off the hook. Come here a second. Uh, I'm in kind of a hurry. Shut up! I'll teach you to mess with me. Yeah, yeah. I, sh I should have known better, but I didn't see anyone else. That's the problem. But it's fine. Time ceases to exist when you kick the crap out of someone, so let's just kick the crap out of him. Maybe she'll change her mind. Maybe she'll be like, apologies for my boyfriend speaking on my behalf. He shouldn't have done that. Anyway, sorry. Can I go now? Yes, sir. <laughs> uh, let's 
to try you. Hi, I'm a scout for Hostess Club. Do you have a second? Huh? Why would you want to talk to me? Ah, yeah, because you're cute. Gotta be cute if you want to be a hostess. Oh, uh, I see. That's right. So what do you think? It's not easy work, but it's good work if you give it your all. Hmm. Could you maybe tell me more? Of course. Just leave me a cell number and I'll be in touch. Okay, sure. And thank you. Okay. That's three. Talk to you later. Hey, how's it going? I'm a scout for a hostess club. Interested? A hostess club, huh? I don't know. Oh, I understand completely. You probably have some objections to the industry, but you know. Haven't you heard? Working as a hostess is a dream job for young women these days. In fact, hostess club fashion mags are all the rage. Huh? Really? Really? Are you sure a cute girl like you wouldn't be interested? Me? Cute? Gosh. It's true. Sure, there's plenty of cute girls around here, but not the one that caught my eye. Be sure to take care of yourself and make it all better. Okay, guess so. Yeah, here's my card then. Hey, can I get your number? Uh-huh. Scored one lead. Great. Be in touch. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Looks like my time is up. Harder than you remembered, Airbus. Wow, you managed to get four leads? In only five minutes? Ha. <laughs> I could have done even better if I were younger. <laughs> wow, boss, you really meant business out there. Now you've got me all motivated too. I'm gonna go and give it everything I've got. Excellent. That's all I ask. Good luck. Yes, sir. <laughs> And the boss man emerges with dignity intact. Oh yeah, we, yeah, I'm gonna... I can upgrade my abilities! I have 10 ability points. There we go. Mm -mm 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 -mm. No! Oh. Wait, don't count that. Uh, huh? You ready? Wait. <laughs> what the fuck? I have to fight a rich man? What? what? This is new. How, how's that going for you? No, come on, surely this is a joke. <laughs> what? No, come on. I can't believe that just happened. You really got the goods, don't you? Here. Here's that reward, I promise, but I guarantee you won't be able to do that again. Oh. It's not even money! Just get, he just gave me an energy drink. No matter how long I wait for her, I know she won't come. Every story has an ending. Some fulfilling, some not. A story falls within the ladder, I'm afraid. But an unfulfilling ending doesn't have to be sad. It's merely an end. Okay. Time for me to start another chapter in my love life. But first, a drink in the champion district. Maybe two drinks. If you say so. Yeah, he's like in front of the Millennium Tower. Oh, here? <laughs> I didn't recognize him. Akiyama-san, I got all dressed up just like you said. Yar, 
Serious, right? I, I just want to make sure. Yeah, I'm serious. Oh my gosh, what a dork. Ouch, that guy is trying way too hard. See? If two random girls on the street think your look is atrocious, how can you ever hope to charm a hostess? I'm going to try and sleep. Alright, gaming, no worries. Have a good night. Thanks for uh, popping in. I'll see you next time. Hell. Even a hundred million yen won't help you like this. Man, must be something you can do. A man's got to be particular about his appearance. I'll help you evolve from a caterpillar into a butterfly. But I don't have any money. Don't sweat it. Consider it a reward for being such a loyal customer. Alright then, let's do it. Excuse me, I'd like to purchase a complete ensemble. Clothes and accessories both. Certainly, sir. What kind of ensemble would you like today? <laughs> There's no way wild American casual work. Um, you can't go wrong with a suit. Uh, let's see, do you have any chic suits? We do have some new Italian suits in stock. I'll take one of those then. Thank you very much. Now, what accessories can I show you? Let's see. Do you have any elegant vests? This one is rather fashionable at the moment. I'll take one of those then. Will that be all? And that's it. What do I owe you? That'll be 98,000 yen. Thanks for your help. It's been my pleasure. I look forward to seeing you again. Nice. You look like a brand new man. Now, time for a little practice. What? Uh, but this isn't your club. It's Mickey I'm after. You idiot. Mickey's one tough cookie. But I guess I don't need to tell that to the guy who spent five million yen on her. She's not the kind of girl you can simply get by dressing the way she likes. You'll need to learn the right things to say to her. Now it's time for a crash course in talking to girls at this club. What? Well, uh, you're not gonna bail on me, are you? Uh, wouldn't be much of a crash course if I stuck around. I'll just give you some advice. To paraphrase that famous Shakespeare quote, Fickleness, thy name is woman. They're always changing their minds. You have to figure out how they feel and respond properly. Uh, oh, I see. What I'm trying to say is, it's more important to listen to them than it is for you to talk. By listening, you can sense her mood, which makes it easier for you to respond. But that's normally a hostess's job to do just that. In any event, you'll get far with a hostess by getting on her good side. But whatever, you need the practice. Good luck. Thanks. Go get him, tiger. Okay. Akiyama-san. How'd it go? I tried listening just like you said and it worked. I guess girls like it when guys do that. It went really well. Excellent. I think I'm getting the hang of this. Great. Then why don't you go see Mickey now? Yeah. Well, I can't. I have a date with a hostess from this club. A date? But what about Mickey? Well, oh, I'm so over Mickey. Would you mind telling her that for me, Akiyama-san? You mean all this training was a waste of my time? Not at all. Thanks to you, I'm a new man. I really appreciate your help. I'd like to give you this as a thank you. 
I won't be needing it anymore. Shiny shine, love shine. Ah. Well, I'm off. Goodbye. Okay, Ryoko, let's go. Uh, not the ending I expected, but whatever. Did I did I give him too good advice? Did the advice have to be shit? <laughs> No, I mean... Okay, it's a star. It's a star, so I guess it's fine. Okay, um... Where are we right now? Oh, sweet. Let me go into that restaurant again. Since I'm here. Has it marked the other one as done? It did, okay. You can only do one, that's so annoying. I'm hoping it's not every single item on the menu, because that... Maybe it's a long-term quest, I don't know. Alright, let's go to the champion district. And just, uh, talk to the dude. He said he'd be at Earth Angel, which is here. Akiyama-san, you have those mouth texture and awful dish recommendations for me? Sure, I'm ready. First, please tell me what your favorite yakiniku shop is called. It's uh, Kanrai on Shichifuku Street. Ah, so there's a great place on Shichifuku Street, is there? Tell me, which one of their dishes has the best mouth-watering texture? Ooh. The great A sirloin, I'd say. So that's what you should order when you go experience unparalleled texture. Now, what should I say is their most unique offal dish? Probably the grade A harami. Well, that was easy enough, wasn't it? Alright, I think I've got it. And my stomach's calmed down a bit too. I'm going to run right down there and try those delicious dishes myself. Huh? Are you sure you want to do that? I'll be fine if I stick to your recommendations. After all, I need to make a note of the place's ambiance too. Alright, well, don't overdo it. I won't. Oh, and... I have something I want to give you. Meet me here afterward, alright? Sure. Enjoy yourself. I just have to walk in and out of the building, I would imagine. I love it when guys eat a lot and have excessive amounts of health. Is that something you're into? Huh? Am I trying to hit on you? Oh, no, no, no. I'm just thinking out loud. Okay, what... Dude, what... <laughs> camera, please. He's not back yet. Okay. I guess I should, uh... I, should, I don't know, walk around there? What are, what's it gonna say? Maybe I need to just walk away from it for a minute. I'm gonna go back to the restaurant. Maybe I'll catch him in there. Okay, no, it didn't do anything.
There he is. Akiyama-san, I went to Kanrai as you suggested. I wanted to do a write-up of the menu items you told me about. They were just as I imagined. The ambience was equally superb. Truly impressive. Ah, glad to hear it. Now, I can write up my piece in no time. I know this isn't much, but consider it a token of my thanks. Cool. Uh, Akiyama-san, this is truly presumptuous of me, but could you maybe find me another restaurant or two? What? Didn't you get your Yakiniku fix? I think I have a handle on Yakiniku, but then there's sushi, ramen, sweets, all sorts of cuisine I need to investigate. Whoa. The whole nine yards, huh? I don't think I could stick around for all that. How about just one more, then? Find me an outstanding ramen shop. The apple of any middling gourmand's eye. There are too many ramen shops in this town. Impossible to narrow down for someone with only a passing acquaintance with Japanese cuisine. Ah, well, maybe just one more. What would you like to know? Oh, thank you so much. Let's see. I'd need to find out about the stock they use and any distinctive toppings they offer. Distinctive toppings, huh? Something that'll make me sound like an authentic ramen fan, like this such and such was brought all the way from the heart of who knows where. So, the stock they use and any distinctive toppings. I'll check around some of my favorite places. Thank you very much. There's really only one ramen shop I keep coming back to. I guess I'll go there. Kyushu star number one. <laughs> it has to be that one. The one with that quest that went forever. Damn, I've <laughs> been here so, so many times. Welcome, what'll it be? Pretty full right now. Sorry, some. Ugh, ah. I actually have to. Um. Okay, I have to get into a fight and take some damage so I can eat. All right, fist fight. Fist fight. Fist fight. Fist fight. It's funny now that I want to fight, no one's around. Really? 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 Now that I- now that I want to get into a fight and no one's around? There we go. <laughs> Good. Alright, punch me. I need to take damage. Come on. Use it. There we go. Acquired. I wonder if... Ooh. Maybe I need to take more damage. Keep the guy with the bat just in the back. I just worry that maybe he'll still say, nah, too full. It's fine, keep hitting me. Hey.
Who wants some ramen? Yes, cool. Um, Kyushu Tonkatsu. No, famous. Got to, It's got to be famous. Oh, you're Akiyama-san, huh? You're pretty famous here at this shop. The boss here might only talk to you to get your order, but when you're not around, he told us, if you see Akiyama-san in trouble in front of the shop, you've got to help him. Oh. Don't cause a scene if you can help it. Bothers the neighbors. You know? Though I will admit, it's pretty fun to watch. No shit. They've got that mechanic in this game too. So you're not gonna... He didn't tell... I thought he was gonna tell me about the ramen. Alright, well I tried it. Let's head back. Akiyama-san, you got that stock and topping info for me? Tell him. Sure, I'm ready. First, please tell me what your favorite ramen shop is called. It's Kyushu number one star in Pink Alley. It sounds like a real hidden gem, and what can you tell me about the stock they use? It's a rich, authentic pork bone stock. AKA Tonkotsu. They must be really particular about their soup. Now, what sort of distinctive toppings might they offer? Yeah. They have braised pork from Okinawa. Oh, how wonderful. I'm definitely gonna have to try it for myself. You've really piqued my interest. I think I'll have to head over there right now i hope you like it when it comes to food i trust your intuition oh and about your compensation think it can wait until i get back from the ramen shop sure i don't mind you want to meet here again yes thank you very much i have visions of ramen dancing in my head already i'll see you here later okay so i'm just gonna walk into another shop and then come back and he'll be here Pretty much this one. It worked last time. No, sorry, I gotta go. Oh crap. Wait, oh, the other one ran off, what? Oh, there you are, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess I'm, I'm getting healing items off them. 
At least it's not like Yakuza 3 where they kept giving me sh <laughs> shards of glass and nails. Dude, please. His kick is ridiculous compared to Kiryu. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Got enough blood there on your face? Please, have mercy. Ah. Oh, Kiyama san. I just went to the ramen shop you suggested. They did indeed have some delicious ramen. It wasn't exactly as you described, and the owner got a little upset when I talked to him. Oh, I didn't. Hope I didn't get you into trouble. Oh no, the place is definitely guidebook material, so I'm grateful. Here's a token of my thanks. Anyway, I really want to thank you for all your help. I hope at least some of the info proves useful. Yeah, your tips got me well on my way to writing the Gourmet's Guide to Kamarocha. I'm off to sip out more Kamarocha's culinary gems. Farewell. <laughs> Alright, I probably got one little thing wrong. One tiny detail. It was probably the Okinawan beef. It's okay, still got a star. Okay, board is clear. I can't wait to get back to the modern Yakuza engine where I can run away from these dickheads. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's fine for now because I need XP, but later on it, it does get old. <laughs> Good. Count it. Three. Four. Five. Six. <laughs> All right. I think that'll do it. It's a good stopping point. Next time, main quest. All right, chat. That's gonna do it for Yakuza. That's a good hour and a half. We'll continue the uh, main story next time. 
for now, I'm I'm gonna go make myself some instant ramen because I'm I'm hungry. So I got some some flavors to try. But uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching tonight. Whether you were here for Isaac live, alive, or uh, this, appreciate it.